So why am I talking about three ways to revitalize or actually put some life into your personal brand? Because today people buy who you are and they buy your story as much as they buy your products or services. And this is like rule number one of marketing today. So what are you really doing today to really kind of pump up who you are and what you're all about, your personal brand? A lot of people are missing a boat and admittedly I've kind of jumped on this boat a little bit too late myself but I'm doing everything I can to try to re kind of position myself and rebrand myself kind of in mid stride over this last year or so. But these are the three biggest things that I've done to really help my own personal brand. This is the Sean Campbell Show, a podcast for the aspiring and hungry entrepreneur. And so obviously, since I am a social media marketer and I assist a bunch of social uh, small businesses from state to state, if you need more information, check me out at cmgsocialmedia.com. A little plug in for myself. Why can't I plug in myself on my own podcast, right? I should be able to. But the three things that I've really done and I've really kind of honed in on to really revitalize and pump in some you know, energy, much needed energy, I should say, into my personal brand. The first thing is I created, I created this, I created my own podcast, I created my own YouTube channel, I created my own Instagram. And I kind of gave away the three things right there. So let, let's talk about them more in depth. I created my own Deshaun Campbell Show Instagram page where it focuses more on the, the complimentary aspects of my business. Again, I'm a social media marketer for small businesses, many of them. But I really talk about entrepreneurship. I've talked a lot of motivation. Uh, I provide some additional information and value on my Instagram page and I make it more me as opposed to my Campbell Marketing Group Instagram where I'm providing more statistical and value and value driven information around marketing and social media and digital marketing on my Campbell marketing side. But again, on my personal Instagram, it's more the motivational, it's more entrepreneurship, it's more highlighting, you know, where to go to for more information, i.e. my podcasts on my YouTube channel. So let's take the first of those two, the podcast. The podcast, I'll be honest, I mean, it's not that hard to start your own podcast. It really isn't. I'm letting the cat out of the bag. What I did is I went to anchor.com and just actually just kind of follow the directions from there. If you start um, uh, publishing or uploading, I should say, podcasts on Anchor, Eventually, you'll be on Spotify. Eventually, you'll be on Apple and Google Podcasts, and you'll be on like four or five or three or four different other podcast platforms. So, really, Anchor does 99% of the work for you. All you got to do is start doing your podcasts. But, how did it really, you know, put some energy into my personal brand? Once I'm able to say I have my own podcast, I mean, people, it, it added a whole new level of legitimacy. Even though I'm the same person, I did the same thing and I had the same knowledge of my specialty, my industry, having a podcast really put me on another level when it when I'm able to tell clients or potential clients, yeah, I talked about that on my podcast a few months ago. It really put a bunch of energy and a bunch of legitimacy into my own personal brand and position me as an expert in my industry. Absolutely. So go go to anchor.com and just follow the directions. If you need help, you know, reach out to me. And the third thing, uh, past your own Instagram and your own podcast is this, your own YouTube channel. Provide value and information. Talk about the how to's. Talk about, you know, give the three best things to do this as in, you know, this podcast and video itself really provide a lot of information and value. Do not though get sucked into, and I did this, it was a huge mistake that I was doing, is that I would produce a video, upload it to Facebook and use the same video for some of my podcasts, I mean my YouTube videos. And you'll see, I haven't taken them down, but it was a mistake. I mean, a YouTube video is a lot different than what it should be um, in, uh, what, we, what should be what should pass for a Facebook video. There's two separate beasts 
uh, YouTube videos are uh, a lot more produced, a lot more polished. Um, both are very authentic, and but you should not just do one video for Facebook and that should suffice for a YouTube video, okay? So really, you know, take the time to learn how to do YouTube very well, you know, invest into TubeBuddy, um, look that up, Google that, and that'll be your best friend when it comes to uploading and getting uh, the most optimization out of your YouTube videos. Um, take the time to learn how to do a good, you know, uh, thumbnail, et cetera, et cetera. So those three things, you know, personalized, a branded, um, uh, separate Instagram, a podcast, and the YouTube channel has really kind of rebranded, repositioned myself as not just a guy who owns a social media marketing agency, but a guy who's really kind of branded himself as an expert in his field of not only social media, but entrepreneurship and marketing in general. And lastly, I just want to talk about why is this important in the first place? Why should you, you know, go through the, the investment of time that you're doing all this? Why should you do it? Because if you don't, I mean, you're just going to be in the same lane as everybody else. I mean, you got to get in the fast lane and pass everybody. You got to do something. You got to take some action. You got to be proactive. If you really are half as good as you say you are, then get in that fast lane and start to reposition and rebrand yourself, separate yourself, you know, work on your personal brand. Or even if you're not, if you're not as good as everybody else, but no one else is taking the time to position their personal brand, then maybe this is a way you can surpass them anyway, but continue your education until you do catch up to them. I truly believe that every small business owner should really have their own platforms dedicated to their own personal brand and no matter what industry you're in. I have my own, you know, platforms dedicated for Campbell Marketing Group, but I've developed these separate platforms to help develop my personal brand so they can complement one another. And really it's going to open up more, you know, avenues or opportunities, I should say, for increased revenue stream as my personal brand becomes a little more, um, uh, for lack of a better term, popular. So there you have it. So what do you think about my, my three ideas for to develop your own personal brand? I would love to hear from them. You know, give me the good, the bad, the ugly. You know, if you thought I was off target, then let me know. Let me know if you have some better ideas. If you thought I was okay, I would like to know that and why and what you're gonna do to increase your personal brand awareness uh, to your audience. So give me an email if you like, Sean, S-H-A-W-N, at cmgsocialmedia.com. Put something in the comments of this podcast or of this video below. And remember, if you wanna do what you gotta do, then you gotta, did I mess that up? If you wanna do, yeah, I did. If you wanna do what you wanna do, then you gotta do what you gotta do. Until next time. Thank you for listening to The Sean Campbell Show. Follow us on Instagram at The Sean Campbell Show.